what we're building in this video is a loft bed for my 12 year old son i built one for my younger son so my seven year old and my older son saw that and decided he wanted to have the same bed so um after picking up some supplies and finding some extra time uh decided to build him a new bed also um the bed here in this picture, uh, minus the mattress and box frame, of course, because I already took those out of the room, to get ready to put the new loft bed in. Uh, this is the picture of his, uh, the bed that he had before we built the loft bed. Um, so the fact that him and his brother share a room, we needed to create some more space for the two of them to share. So we decided to put uh, put a loft bed in, um, and now the older one wants one. So here's a picture of the loft bed that I built for the younger one. Um, it's We're going to be trying to replicate the same bed in this video. Um, but what I did here with the younger one's bed is I actually attached this one directly to the wall on the back, up by the headboard, and on one of the sides because I was able to build it right into the corner. Um, it added some extra support and prevented to having any space on that side of the bed, and it gave him a whole wall on the other side to kind of keep them from falling and that sort of thing. I didn't have to build a rail. Um, so it's just kind of a more efficient use of space. Um, but with this bed that we're building here in this video, we're not going to be able to do that because there's a window on that side of the room. So what we're going to do here is basically replicate um, the side of the bed that you're looking at here on the younger one's bed. We're going to replicate onto that onto the other side. So it's going to be a little bit extra building, uh, but it's really no big deal. And since I have a bed in the same room to reference, um, it should be pretty easy, or it was pretty easy, I should say. Um, so we'll get into the video here now, and you'll be able to see what we did. So we got to clean up my shop um, so we can get started on this loft bed project. Uh, as usual, I tend to finish a project and kind of just leave things where they're at <laughs> and uh, we'll work on cleaning the shop up the next time I want to start a project which is usually soon right after uh, so we get the kids here uh, recruited them to help me out so next we got the rest of the bed frame out of the room and uh, then my son had to take his posters down off the wall um, because we are going to actually attach the part of the loft bed to this wall. Here I am cutting some of the framing for the bed um, to length um, to prepare to, to assemble. Uh, sorry about the shaky video, it's actually my son who's helping me record the video. Um, and as far as lengths and dimensions of the lumber, at some point down the line I'll have some plans available. Next here we're just uh, running through the planer real quick just to give him some smooth sides um, and even sides. So kind of take that rough construction lumber cut look off. And I'm actually planning it on both sides and um, top and bottom. Here I am cutting the steps for the ladder. Um, for the end of the loft bed for them to climb up. Uh, I cut a little bit of a miter end on um, each side of each step just to kind of give it a little bit better of a look to kind of just take the square edge off of it. And here's my son bringing some of the prepared lumber into his room to get ready to start the assembly. Great job, buddy. So here I am uh, marking out the studs to get ready to screw the um, headboard on or the, the board that's going to secure the bed to the wall. And after measuring the line 
from the floor up to where that board's going to screw to the wall. Um, throw a level up. Put a level line on the wall. Set the board up there on that level line and uh, screw it to the studs. Uh, put two screws per stud uh, to give it the best support I could give it. And check level along the way to make sure it's nice and level. Then here I lay out the posts on the floor. Uh, they're already cut to length and planed on all four sides. I screwed up the top and lower brace. Measured, I think they were about 40, 42 inches roughly. But again, I'll have the plans available at some point. I'll probably draw plans for both the bed that I uh, did for my younger son and this one in case you have a corner to put it in or just one wall. So I screw these boards on and I'm going to stand it up. Make sure they're lined up good. Screw them in. Ready to go. Here's where the frame of the bed really starts to come together. Get the posts stood up. I got the side rails attached to the outside of those posts. Uh, the other end sitting on that 2x4 that I screwed to the wall. Here I'm putting the long mattress support boards in. Basically just 2x4s. Cut to length. Uh, all the lumber I'm using to build this is all planed on all four sides just to kind of smooth it all out. Uh, again, sorry about the shaking in the video. Uh, my my 12-year-old son is recording it for me. He volunteered to record me building his bed for him. Um, and so I wasn't really prepared to uh, upload this. Um, but I do have some better um, audio and video recording um, gear. So I might actually start doing some more of these building videos. So if you like this, uh, comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, Give me some uh, feedback. I do. I do know that this isn't the best quality. So. so here I am screwing the the long mattress support boards in. It's getting a little tight working in there once I start getting those supports in. Those two 2x6s two there aren't really secured in at this point. Um, they're more or less just kind of resting there. I do put another 2x4 in between those, um, going kind of one side of the bed to the other against the wall. I screw that um, above that other board that I screwed to the wall. I screwed that to the studs as well. Um, and it gives me something to screw those, uh, those side rails, those 2x6s into. Here I'm just making sure the, the boards are... Uh, those those long supports for the mattress are parallel to each other. So here this here's that board that I was talking about, screwing that to the wall uh, to the studs in between those two side rails. So again, it gives me something to kind of screw the the other end of those side rails into. Between that board and the one below, it screwed to the wall. This is um, about as likely to come down as the walls of the house. So it's more framing in this bed than probably the rest of the walls in the room. And between that and using screws to put everything together, this is pretty solid.
<laughs> my son getting ready to get dressed for the day, wanting to help me out. So yeah, I line those all up. I screw them in um, from the top down into the uh, the long ones below it. And also screw them in from either side of the bed as well. Right through those two by six side rails. Right into the end. I'm kind of just trying to evenly space them apart. Roughly, you know, not an exact science, but between the two by fours um, going crossways and the, the other three going long ways. Um, my son weighs about 75 pounds, so he ain't going anywhere. You'll see here we got most of the framing done. Um, just using basic just construction screws, um, kind of like self-drilling uh, construction screws with kind of the star head. Uh, which I really like those screws. Uh, usually buy them in bulk. Uh, do a lot of building with them. They work great. Um, so I got the two side um, rails, I guess. Uh, if you're calling, you can see the two 4x4 four four posts that I got up. Uh, basically screwed them to each side. Uh, I put a header on the wall, screwed the other end to that. Um, I put slats going lengthway, lengthwise. Um, and also going across uh, from side to side. Uh, so I screwed them in from the side, screwed them in from the top. And again, I'll um, work on getting some plans together to share with everyone so you can kind of see what I did in a bit more detail. So in case you want to build this yourself. So here's a clip just to kind of give you a better sense of what I did. Um, little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison also to um, the younger one's bed compared to uh, where I'm at at this point uh, with the new bed. Uh, you can see where I went uh, long ways and side to side with the slats. Um, that'll give it a whole lot of extra support. That These beds actually support quite a bit of weight. Uh, we have a family of five. Uh, the, the three kids and my wife and I and all five of us have actually gotten up on one of these. Um, so we've definitely put them to the test, and they're not going anywhere. Um, so you can see what I'm explaining here is um, how I'm going to put the rails on the side. So I'm basically going to run a rail all the way from the side of the window all the way down to this post. I'm actually going to, that board that's sitting on the top there, I'm actually going to uh, attach that to the wall, um, kind of pointing at where I'm attaching it. Uh, so I'm going to screw it to the wall there, screw it to the studs. I'm going to run that board from the side of that all the way down to that post. Um, so you kind of see on this bed, get an idea of kind of the same thing I'm doing. Guys, uh, these are rails that we put attached to the bed with two screws on each uh, side right here and uh, right here. I didn't put the other screw in yet. But you have to put the other, put the other screw in. And then all, same on the other side. And um, this side. Yeah, here. that's how we do it with this side. And on the uh, What's same, up with that board on the wall? It's the same on the other side. And we put a um, piece of wood on the wall so that we can tell where to put this piece of wood. Yeah, so that. I screwed that piece of wood to the wall, that 2x4, uh, which I cut down to 38 and a half inches and then ran it through the planer a couple times real quick to try to make it as flat as I possibly could because my joiner is not the greatest and uh, it was just quick and easy to do that. Uh, I screwed it to the wall so it's going to go, it's going to be flat anyway. Cut these to 78 and a quarter. So go down and be screwed into the end. And that completes the rails. Oh, uh, the top, at least the top part of the rails. Now, all we have left is these simple little 2x4 rail supports with the 45 degree little cut on them. Um, the only thing I didn't do that I did on the other one is put a 45 on the end to kind of give it a little bit of a kind of a corner profile 
didn't do that here, but oh well, it's already up there. I'm not taking it down to do it. Watching, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to go make those rails. We got four on this one. We're going to have to put eight on this one. This one's up against the wall. So again, we're, we're having to do, when it comes to these rails, having to do twice as much. So we got a rail on either side on this one. And uh, almost done. And then we got the ladder rungs to put on. Yeah, like drive, just like this. Light. So we'll be back. <clears throat> so here I go, like I said, um, cutting those side rail supports. Uh, I think I cut them, they were about 15 inches or so in length. Then I cut a, a miter on each side of them, like you saw in the picture, uh, or in the, the video of the finished product. Um, once I get them cut to length, cut the miters on each side, then I go ahead and... Uh, move over to the planer. I uh, run them through the planer on all four sides obviously except for the ends of course. And this is actual speed. I actually move this fast in real life. <laughs> Alright, now we'll take them up to the bed and screw them on. So here I am attaching those side rail supports. Um, basically just putting two screws in the top, two screws in the bottom. Uh, basically kind of just rough eyeballed, rough measured from the other bed um, and just kind of screwed them on in place. No exact science really as to where I put them. But just, you know, eyeball and make it look good. So here's the finished product. Um, before putting his mattress and all of his uh, blankets and sheets back on the bed, um, we put a couple coats of... Uh, uh, kind of the usual finish I use on a lot of um, stuff that I build out of wood. Um, I basically just mix like uh, equal parts of um, paint thinner, boiled linseed oil, and uh, satin polyurethane. Uh, mix it up really good and uh, paint a coat on, let it dry, paint another coat on. Um, sometimes I'll just let it dry at that or I'll sand it and put another final coat on but in this case I just put uh, a couple coats on and it came out looking pretty good um, I just like the way that that combination kind of added a layer of protection and brings out the grain in the wood um, but basically these kids are going to climb all of these things beat them up and uh, sleep in them every night so hopefully <laughs> anyway uh, thanks for watching um, I know this is uh, not the greatest quality video. Um, this is my first real video uh, posting up on YouTube. So if you have any uh, comments um, or uh, critique you can give me on this, uh, throw them down in the comments. I appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or anything about this uh, build, just throw those in the comments as well, and I will. Uh, respond um, as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, and I do plan on doing a lot more videos. I have a lot of stuff to do around here. Um, we have a whole kind of family homestead here, so we do quite a bit. Um, so if you want to see more of what we got, um, hit the subscribe button and that bell next to that to be notified when we have more videos coming out. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.